Hey, what's up guys? We're talking a little baseball pitching grips. I'm here with my sidekick Jersey and my homeboy Buddy. And uh, we're going to talk about the four seam fastball and the 12 6 curveball. Okay? Great combination to pitch off of. Having a fast pitch that moves this way and a slower pitch that breaks down and has a lot of depth to it. Okay? Uh, First of all, the four seam fastball. They call it a four seam because you grip it across the four seams. Some guys grip it on top of the seam here. Other guys and myself grip it off of the seams here because the seams hurt the fingers too much. But the reason they call it a four seam fastball is because when it's traveling through the air, it's spinning backwards, it has backspin, and four seams cut through the air. One, two, three, Four, and that's why they call it a four seam fastball. Okay? The theory behind the four seam fastball is that you're going to get more speed to the pitch because you have more seams cutting through it, and the Magnus effect is going to help carry that ball faster to home plate and stay on the same plane. Which, in my opinion, you want to have more depth on a pitch, but the four seam fastball can be used very effectively. For, in my example, personally, I would use the four seam fastball to go into a lefty so my ball wouldn't tail back over the plate. Um, I very, very rarely threw a four seam fastball to a righty. I would throw more of a sinker to a righty. Um, but again, it can be a very effective pitch if you get some good backspin on it. And it's a good pitch to be able to locate where you're pitching. Um, if you guys throw a four seam fastball, go ahead and hit that thumbs up real quick. And then we're going to talk about the 12-6 curveball. You know how to throw a 12-6 curveball? I don't know where he went. 12-6 curveball. You're going to grip. The way I grip it is, you can grip it many different ways, but the way I grip it is where the open horseshoe is. I'm going to take my two fingers, and I'm going to take my middle finger and hook it right on that lace. And then I'm going to have this other finger and put it right next to it. My thumb placement is going to be underneath, in line pretty much with my two fingers, but I'm cutting half of the ball more off on this side of the ball versus this side of the ball. That's going to help when I throw this ball here. It's going to help for it to pop out and go forward. Now, a 12-6 curveball is just like the four-seam fastball, except instead of going four-seam spinning through the air backwards, you want it to go four-seams through the air spinning forwards. And the more forward you can get this ball going this way with the four seams on the horseshoes, the more depth straight downward you're going to get. And that's why they call it a 12-6 curveball. 12-6 is just a reference to a clock. Imagine a clock. Your 12 is up here. Your 6 is down here. You want that ball to go from here to here. So it's more of a straight down pitch than your typical curveball, which is more of a 1-7 or a 2-8. Okay? So, um, again... I'm not really um, squeezing extra hard on these laces, and I'm not soft. I know sometimes you hear hold it like an egg. I'm definitely not soft. I'm not holding it like an egg. Um, and I don't have much space in between my hand here, as you can see. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty. Uh, uh, I don't want to say tight, but I'm pretty um, close to the ball on my grip. So I've got a very good grip on this ball. Again, when you come through, you're just trying to come fingers on top, so your wrist angle is going to be this way. On your four-seam fastball, your wrist angle is going to be right behind. On the curveball, it's going to be more like a karate chop, but your fingers want to be on top coming down through that ball and getting that four-seam spin going forward. If you guys throw a 12-6 curveball, go ahead and hit that thumbs up now, or if you found this helpful, uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up anyway and share this video, okay? Um, go ahead and leave me a comment below and let me know what pitches you throw and we'll talk about it in the comment section below. Thanks guys. I hope this helps and I'll talk to you soon.